So I mentioned this in the last video, but one of the issues this room is happening is that we're not using all the energy available in the source uh, before the timer's uh, resetting it. So what we're gonna need to do is, instead of spawning these small creeps, we need uh, multiple um, copies of this segment pattern. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is write a little function um, using a variable uh, that's found in the room object. Uh, in the room, there's a variable called energy available and energy capacity available. So these are equal to the energy in spawns and extensions and the total energy capacity of all those spawns and extensions. So what we can do is use this function to determine the maximum number of that segment pattern we can have in a creep body type and pass that full segment into uh, the spawning code. So let's go ahead over to VS Code and I'm going to show you this function that I've uh, sort of modified and copied from my code base uh, to make it a little bit more simple. But it's going to take two parameters, the segment pattern and the room that we're currently in. And it's going to return this body type. So how it works is first it gets the segment cost. So the segment cost has multiple um, different components. And this example down here we have work carry and move and in the documentation here under uh, constants there's a parameter called body part cost with the keys being the different body parts so what we can do is loop through every uh, element in the segment array and add its uh, body part cost to the segment cost and this total value then will be the sum of every element in this array and then we can find the, the energy that's available in the room by grabbing the parameter from the object. Next, we need to find out how many of the segments we could um, feasibly include in the full body part uh, array. And that's gonna be rounded down of our energy available divided by our segment cost. And then for the number of max segments, we wanna add the original segment to this array. So it's going to repeat this as many times as there's still energy available and return the full body. So to see this guy in action, what we're going to do is modify harvesters.length, well, harvester spawn, and I'm um, just going to copy this guy and do get body uh, the segment and the room. So we're just going to that segment and the room is going to pull from whatever room we're currently looping through. So let's go ahead and save this, see if it works. So we currently have four harvesters available. Let's change it to be five. So that should force one to spawn. Yep. So now it's going to use multiple copies of that um, segment type. So this segment has a cost of 100, 50, and 50. And it looks like there's 650 energy available in the room with the spawn and extensions. So it was able to do that pattern three times. So now we have this slightly larger creep. And it's going to be more effective at quickly extracting this energy. And let's go ahead and modify the code for both the um, upgrader and the uh, builder. Oh, messy in closing bracket. Save that guy. And the other thing you could do is you don't necessarily have to keep this uh, body part layout. Uh, it's just a simple one. You could do um, with 300 energy that the spawn has available, two work parts, 
a carry part and a move part. Uh, the only issue there is that it's going to move very slowly, especially when it's uh, full of energy. But it looks like the harvesters are working. Um, I'm going to change the con uh, census a little bit to modify the spawning. But let's do four harvesters, three upgraders, three builders. Anyway, that is how you. Well, one way that you can increase the size of the body type that's passed to the, the creep spawn algorithm. And it looks like it's working. In the next video, what I think we'll do is um, I'll wait for the storage to be built, and then we can start working with um, a, a unique creep that takes energy from the storage and fills up these extensions and change the harvesters a little bit to just gather energy and deposit it in the storage which is a little bit better system, like having the specialization of roles where each body type can be optimized for that task. So we'll start moving towards that, and we'll work on refactoring this code to be a lot cleaner. Anyway, I'll catch you around for the next video.